guys, Dave here for Big Jeepers Garage. So on the Comanche lately, I've been doing a lot of catch up work on this since I bought it. And um, we've been doing mostly repair work, things to get it drivable. Uh, so I've been driving this for about three, three and a half weeks now. It's doing pretty well, the mileage is decent, and it's about time to ruin that. So we're gonna move on with the next progression. And Brown Santa came today and brought my last present. So I've been waiting and stockpiling these parts and it's now time to go ahead and move on. So what I've got, it's in the truck. Let me show you. Okay, here we go. As you can see here, we've got some new springs, some bump stops from Rubicon Express. Now these are only an inch longer than stock, but got to start somewhere. I'm not sure where we're going to have to be. Might have to buy something a little longer. But a drop pitman arm, I'm not really a big fan of that. I'd like to upgrade to steering, but again, I just dumped a bunch of money into this lift and some tires. So the drop pitman arm will work for now. These springs are four and a half inch rusties off-road. And then over here we've got new shocks. Nice shock boots. I didn't even remember the order now. I must have came with. Oh yay, bar pins. We're not going to need those. I've got bar pin eliminators over on the bench somewhere. Okay, there's our shocks. Got the, uh, for the brake lines. Again, the boots. Transmission spacer. Oh, look at these control arms. Black ones. Yeah, for 80 bucks, I figured it was worth the upgrade because this Jeep with four inches, I don't think I'm gonna waste the money on this truck to put a long arm kit on. You're talking between $2,000 and $4,000, depending on how you outfit it and what you do. And I'm not one of those off-road guys that sells parts and makes money and trying to get my product out there. So, all right, we've got U-bolts. This is for the stock Dana 35, which is gonna go on for now. I've got my eye on an 8.8 .8 out of a Ford Explorer. And the guy's supposed to call me when he's ready for me to come pick it up. That's the other conform. Uh-oh, window sticker. So you've got a lot of hardware here. Oh yeah, the shims for the axle. And I'm not gonna need these. This is for dropping the uh, sway bar link in the front. Well, actually the sway bar. I have new sway bar links, quick disconnects I already purchased because I broke them. And then, I've got these massive coil springs for the front. Four and a half inch. Oh, those are heavy too. That's uh, gonna be nice. Then I lied. I didn't have everything in the truck. Over here on the wall, I got a heck of a deal on these. These are Nam Kang, I believe is the the name of how you say it. They're Mudstar Radio MTs. That's got a nice tread on it. And then these wheels are tactic wheels. Now Quadratech had a, they misguided us. They had another brand of wheels. I think they were called Black Rocks. They were on sale in the catalog for $32, which I could not believe because these wheels were already on sale for $39. So I argued with the salesman on the phone and after about a week and a half, I agreed to buy these wheels at $32 a piece because they weren't gonna honor the price. Well, it was a mistake. Well, I gilded them into selling me these for $32 a piece. Then they didn't charge me sales tax, nor did they charge me shipping. So I did really well on this. And these tires, I bought off a guy on eBay. He was offering these at 10% off and eBay ran a special 10% off for like three days so that's kind of what jump-started me into buying these. I bought these before I had to lift. 
So the idea was get those and get the deal. I, I really got a deal on the wheels and tires. But the lift I paid full price for. I'm not one of these guys that they're gonna give parts to to do a review on. I'm still gonna talk good about them because I've run Rusty's before. But uh, all right, um, this stuff's just gonna sit in the bed for now until we get, we get um, all the bolts loosened up. I'm gonna get this up on the jack stands and I'm gonna PB blast all the bolts, everything that I'm gonna be taking off. Uh, because one person doing a lift, I've done it a few times now, it's a little rough. All right, that's all for right now. See you next time, later. Click like. Comment below. Make sure to subscribe and follow along.